Welcome to my System.io landing page tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create a landing page with System, create an opt-in page, and then a thank you page, connect it so you can send emails, gather leads, and of course, go on from there. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below, and if you click that, you'll get taken to a page very similar to this where you can either use System for free or use it for much easier login access. Let's begin. So this tutorial is going to be for beginners and I'm going to start from square one as if you have just gotten started. So what you want to do once you're on the inside is make sure that you go to funnels right here, click there. And from there, what you want to do is simply create a sales funnel. For this, let's give it a name. For this one, I'm just going to call it a free cheat sheet. Now, when you're creating a landing page that's designed to build an audience and collect leads, you usually want to give away something for free. It can be very easy to do, especially for the fact that a lot of people can, you know, give you lead magnets to utilize. If you're an affiliate, you can create them with ChatGPT. When it comes to cheat sheets, they're probably one of the easiest lead magnets. Think of it like a video game and you're getting the cheat codes, like literally that quick. Here's something that you want. Here's what you get. And then you can go up from there. For this, we want to build an audience. So let's click there. And currency US dollar is good for me. It might be different for you. So you can always change that. And then let's click save. All right. So our sales funnel for our free cheat sheet has been created. Let's go in and edit it now. Let's click on free cheat sheet. Okay, so the first thing is going to be the squeeze page as you see right here. First and foremost, what we're gonna to wanna to do is utilize a template. And I'm just gonna go with 30 here so we can scroll down. For this, I'm looking for something extremely simple. It doesn't need to be super complex. In fact, all the cheat sheets, excuse me, all of the landing pages that I've usually used that are most simple, kind of like this, tend to perform very well. Uh, something like this could be good if you want to utilize a picture of yourself, but kind of scrolling down or even just like this. I'm gonna go with something like this. Let's preview it first. And it's just going to look as simple as that. So I like that one. Let's go back and exit out of there. And we're going to use this one. So let's do select. Okay, so this is the squeeze page. I'm going to call it free cheat sheet just so we know. Okay, looks good. And then from there, that's been saved. We can click on edit page. So here's the beautiful thing about this. When you have a page like this, this is a template where you can edit anything you want. There's not a whole lot to edit. So it's gonna make your life so much easier. So what's the free cheat sheet they're gonna be getting? First and foremost, it says get free video. Let's click on this. And because we're not getting a, a video, so let's do free cheat sheet. Okay, receive one hour of video training to create a profitable blog. Let's just double click this. All right, so I just went with something like this, 10 ways to monetize social media content. So this is a great way of just making money from the content that you already create. And if you have 10 ways of doing that, that's not gonna take a whole lot of time. Like for example, list building would be one. And you can talk about that. Affiliate marketing can be one. Then you can talk about that. Uh, ad revenue can be one. And you can talk about that. You can talk about like promoting and hooking up with someone else and doing a promo together. That can be one. You can create content specifically for other companies. That can be one. I'm going on. But uh, just the fact of the matter, it's a very easy thing to do when it comes to a cheat sheet. So click the button to get the videos. You can unsubscribe at any time without the junk. Let's change this because we're not doing a video here. So click the button to to say get access. And so something I want to point out too is that when you actually click on this, nothing is going to happen, but there's going to be a pop-up that comes up because normally someone needs to enter in their email, right? So if we go to pop-ups right here, you're going to notice if we hover over this and click on it, this is going to be the pop-up that comes out. So let us know, or sorry, like let me know where to send your free cheat sheet, your free cheat sheet. And let's see, I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller just so it all fits on the line nicely, perfect. I get it today, you can unsubscribe at any time in one click. I think that looks perfect. So just like that, that's a very quick squeeze page for a uh, cheat sheet where we can collect leads, 10 ways to monetize social media content. And keep in mind, whatever your headline is going to be about is usually going to be what your newsletter or what your niche is going to be about. So this is going to be someone for who likes social media content, or maybe they're looking to make money online or something combined with both of those. So this looks pretty good. Let's click on save changes. And also too, I do want to let you know that we didn't really do much to the background. If you wanted to change this, all you need to do is go to settings right here. And if you look, it's already scrolled down there a little bit. There's background image. This, you could obviously just upload something new and add it there. I'm just going to keep it there because that's a cosmetic thing. So anyway, I'm going to hit save changes and let's go back right here. All right. So that's the first one. Now we have the thank you page. Very easy to do. Let's click on this. And you know, a lot of these are oh so similar. There's a few more here, but I'm just going to go with something simple. Let's see. This looks good right here. Actually, thank you. I mean, they're all just about the same, right? Something that's easiest. I'm just going to go with this one. Let's select this. And once again, let's just do thank you. That looks good for the name of it. And let's edit page. All right. Thank you for opting in. So check your inbox to get the 
let's see, check your inbox to get your free cheat sheet. And here's a cool thing that you can also do. So if you have like say a reference or anything like an affiliate link, if you have a product, a coupon, a discount, this is good quote unquote real estate if you wanna add it here. What you can do is say in the meantime, since you're interested in social media, something like that. So in the meantime, I put in the meantime, since you're interested in social media, you can click the button below to check out my number one social media recommendation. Of course, what we'd wanna change is the text right here. So let's see, click here for my number one recommendation. And of course, where we would send this to is obviously the link right here. Let's do new window is great. And uh, you know, this would just be, you know, whatever the social media thing is, uh, product, okay? It could be an affiliate product, could be yours, could be a webinar, whatever it's going to be. Very simple stuff. It's just the fact that they're opting in, they're saying, thank you for opting in, as promised, you know, you're gonna get your cheat sheet straight to your inbox, but in the meantime, while well, that's gonna be delivered there, be sure to check out my number one social media recommendation. I think you're really gonna like it. I've had a lot of great success with it. Obviously, you can add a little bit more, but we're keeping it very simple here. Uh, the also good thing about this is when you're creating a squeeze page, a landing page, a thank you page, whatever you wanna call them, is that it's not gonna take a whole long time because I know a lot of people struggle when it comes to getting up and running because they're like, the color is not perfect, or I want the background to be perfect, whatever it's going to be, just get it up and running and worry about the cosmetics later. That's my recommendation for that. Let's go back now. Okay, so we have finished putting those two pages together. Now what we wanna do is go to emails and campaigns. I'm gonna open this in a new tab just because we're gonna to need to come back here and set the automation rules once we do that. So emails, campaigns, and once again, let's go with create. I'm just gonna call it email campaign. Okay, same thing for description and save. All right, cool. So let's click on the email campaign right here. And with our campaign, let's do create. All right, so subject. The cool thing about this is that what I did is I went to ChatGPT and I had it write it a, a complete follow-up email for me. So I'm gonna go into this and we have our subject right here. Welcome and your free cheat sheet inside. We have my name, obviously put your name in there and then click on save. I think classic is gonna be better. The less visuals, the better overall in my experience. So let's go to save. All right, so preview is gonna be a little bit extra after your welcome and your free cheat sheet. So the person's gonna see this and then the preview after. So you can put something like, here is where you can access your cheat sheet. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna paste this in. Some of this needs to be like edited and changed around a little, but you know, I'm not gonna go through and like change everything obviously, so uh, do cans. You know, we're thrilled to have you, and enthusiasm for like, this would be social media, right? Uh, and learning, like a lot of these things are plug in and fill in the blank. I just wanted to have at least some type of example here. So this is where you can download it. So for example, if this is where the cheat sheet's gonna be, you could probably just like upload it to Google Drive or like anywhere you want, right? It's a small file. Disclaimer, don't send your traffic to AOL.com. This is just where the link would go, you know, and you would edit it and it has your sender name, sender email address, any personalization that you want, but this looks good. Let's do save and publish. All right, so there's not much to change around since this is gonna be the first email and we want this immediately. So like if you did another email, it would be one day and then two days after if you wanted to do that. But everything looks good here. Let's do activate and perfect. And like I said, we needed to go back to our funnel. So let's do that now. And what I'm gonna do is just refresh this. Now that it knows we have that extra email in there, what we wanna do is go to automation rules. So we can go like over here and go to automation rules and let's do add rule. So we wanna click on funnel step form subscribe. So what happens is that when someone subscribes and gives their email to you, they're, that's gonna trigger the email campaign that we just created. So let's click there. Now what we wanna do is hover over here and do edit automation rule. So it occurs when a contact has just subscribed through a form. Let's do add action. And we do subscribe to campaign. This is the campaign we created called email campaign, right? Let's choose that campaign. It's the one that we just created. So whatever you saved it as is gonna be there and do save rule. And just like that, we are now good to go. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna reload it. And what I'm gonna do is just test it out for you just to show you. So we can do view funnel right here. And let's click get free cheat sheet. It's gonna open up the pop-up. And I just have a random email that I'm gonna utilize. Let's click on get it today and it should take us to our thank you page that we created. 
Perfect. Thank you for opting in. Remember, to check your inbox to get that free cheat sheet and so on and so forth. In the meantime, here's my recommendation. Remember, social media product, that's not a real email. So, or excuse me, that's not a real domain, so it's not going to go anywhere. So that's perfect. And let's go back to check out our emails and see what we have there. There we go, I had refreshed it and you'll notice we have that email count is one. That's gonna be the test email that I utilize. So everything is going to be good now. That's pretty much going to be the system.io landing page tutorial, showing you how to create a landing page with system and of course adding a thank you page to it and adding email and automation as well so that you can connect both of those, create some landing pages, generate some leads, and of course make some money in the process if you wanna throw an affiliate offer in there or maybe a webinar or any type of coupon or bonus, whatever you might have when it comes to your landing page. I hope you got some value out of this and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well once again i will leave that link down below for system in case you want to try them out for free or maybe just use it for easier login access my name is james thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video with me and i'll see you in my next one